But God, I pray that you take this young man and Lord, you would make him your man. That God, he would walk in your footsteps. Protect him from the evil one. Protect him, Lord, from, Lord, all the sins that would seek to entangle him. And Lord, I pray for Emily. Lord, for 22 years, I've walked with her. And Lord, I've seen you carry her through the good times and the bad times. Lord, I have seen you bless this young lady. And I pray, God, you would hold her. And Lord, that she would be a woman of integrity. You would protect her from the sin that would seek to destroy her. And God, I pray above all, this couple will love you, follow you, serve you. And Lord, that they would be, Lord, they would be a tool in your hand. That Lord, you could say to them one day, well done, well done, my good and faithful servants. My dearest Emily, I hope this letter finds you as excited and joyous as I am today. This is the day that the Lord has been leading our lives toward for the past five years and 22 days. Before then, I prayed and asked God to lead me in the right direction and to put on my heart how I should commit to you. And on May 14th, 2016, I made a promise to you that you and I would be both our last and first kisses, that I would be the man that you would marry. Since then, the Lord has led us every step of the way to today. He has given us the strength and guidance to overcome every obstacle, and I believe He has fully prepared us for the road ahead. To my groom on our wedding day, wow, I can't believe today is finally here. I've dreamed about my wedding since I was a little girl, and I fervently prayed for the man that I would give my heart to. Of course, I dreamed of finding my Prince Charming, but I also prayed for that Prince to be just as charming on the inside. I prayed for the man who put God at the center of his life. I prayed for the man who always sought out God's will. I prayed for the man God designed specifically for me. Andrew, I have no doubts whatsoever that you are the one God intended for me. Emily, I cannot eloquently nor aptly express with words what you mean to me. You have made such an impact on my life that I no longer recognize myself, nor wish to, without you by my side. I fully believe that God made you for me and put you in my life so that I may live to my full potential. Every day you show me an example of God's redeeming and everlasting love in our relationship, and I can only hope that by devoting my life and love to you, I can repay you for all that you do. One of my favorite Bible verses is Proverbs 27, 17, which states, As iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. Over the last five and a half years, you have helped me see this verse come to life. Together we have strengthened each other despite any obstacles that came our way. I pray we continue to strengthen one another and bring glory to God in all that we do. I also want to take the time to thank you for loving me endlessly. I will forever be grateful for your patience, kindness, and selflessness. It never ceases to amaze me how your beauty never fades, nor how your smile brings light to my darkest days. Your spirit shines forth from within you and makes the world around you a better place. I never imagined that I would come to love a person so wonderfully captivating as you, even more so than I could ever marry you. And yet here I am, marrying my favorite person in the world, after our promise squared in the park five years ago. I thought I loved you then, and now I know I love you, and shall continue to for the rest of my days. You have not only loved and supported me, but you have also consistently pursued me. You have always gone above and beyond for me, and I will always be grateful. As you already know, I have always told myself that I would pray for the man God made for me and let him be my first and last kiss, my forever. I am so grateful that God led me to you and that you made me a promise that you would be my forever. I am overwhelmed with joy and excitement to see that promise fulfilled today. I can't wait to see you today and to begin our new chapter together. You truly are the one that my soul loves. I am always on your side. I am always here to help and make things easier. I am not here to serve myself nor turn your life into your nightmares. I love you so much more than I ever imagined was possible, and I am here to dispel your fears and bring your dreams to life. Thank you for showing me this type of love. I love you endlessly, and I'm so excited to marry you today. I'll see you soon, forever and always, Emily. You are, and forever shall be, my beautiful princess. So come, our carriage to the future awaits. Love.
patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails.